Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different. I thought I'd take some time to address where strobe rockets come from, what they are, how they're made, and if they are safe to even be using in pyrotechnic displays. Let me start off by saying I have never made these rockets before. I do not know a whole lot about them, but I will do my best to at least explain what I know and be helpful to those that are dedicated. When I was first introduced to a strobe rocket, I was up at Boom City for a memorial show. They did a great big fireworks show there and they lit off four strobe rockets at a time at the end of the display. In the video you can probably hear everyone cheering and being really happy about it because the rockets are super cool. They sound like helicopters, make a weird TIE fighter noise from Star Wars when they're up in the air, and they have a great big report at the end of them. So there was only one great big question that came to my mind. Where on earth can I buy these strobe rockets? To put things nicely, strobe Strobe and whistle rockets are not sold, at least the great great big ones, in the consumer market, and I have never seen them in pyrotechnic displays such as 1.3G or professional fireworks. These rockets are incredibly rare, and if you happen to see one in the sky, it may be once in a lifetime. There are a few channels out there that actually show you how to make strobe rockets along with lighting them off, but there are more videos out there down in California of people shooting them off in the streets. and almost being careless. It seems that strobe rockets are getting more and more popular, which is exactly why I thought I'd do a video on it. Over the past five years, the Google trends and results have really started to pick up on these rockets because they are truly amazing and make people wonder what on earth was that. So to finally get on with this question of where you can get these rockets or where they come from, well the answer is it's going to be very difficult. For me personally, I have no connection of these rockets or where I can buy them, and they are only made in pyrotechnic clubs or for the PGI. As I said again, strobe rockets are not sold under any 1.4 consumer class fireworks, and I have never seen them in professional display. I have never seen an importer for them, and they are highly unlikely to be manufactured. The short answer is, if you want these rockets, you're probably going to have to home make them, but as I always mention in my videos, safety is number one one, and these rockets are probably the most sketchy to make. And the reason for that is probably due to the whistle fuel, the strobe fuel, and the report at the end. A strobe rocket contains three primary things. There is a form of paper tube that's used, they have whistle fuel for the beginning propulsion, where the nozzle is, and then they go to strobe. Most strobe rockets also have a whistle after their strobe before they hit the salute. The part that I didn't mention about what's complicated in these rockets is the fact that you have to use a spindle, a press, tube reinforcements, and plenty of safety precaution. Whistle fuel is highly flammable, highly dangerous, can react to any static friction, and is highly shock sensitive. If this rocket were to ignite in a box, it would simply be a bomb on a stick. Many handlers or dealers suggest to never ship or sell these rockets for this very reason. As for the strobe fuel goes, it is also dangerous and and shock sensitive to ramming and could result in an explosion, which would not be good. The only way that these rockets are created is with a press, spindle, paper tube, and reinforcement. This is one of the reasons these rockets are so rare to come by, and also might be why there's only a few people making them at the moment. As I've said before, they are becoming more and more popular, and if you'd like to know more about them, don't be asking me. Simply do the research yourself and find out what it is about these devices. Not every strobe rocket is the same. For instance, when Cody B Pyrotechnics lit off his strobe rockets, they had a really high frequency. They almost sounded like a motorcycle instead of a helicopter, which would have a lower frequency. Whereas in the videos that I've captured of them, they have a lower frequency, sound like helicopters, and may have different effects. Some of the different headings on these rockets may include a 3 inch or a 4 inch salute. Of course, with titanium and added to it to give it those nice bright white sparks, or they may have a different heading that has some colorful firework stars in it. Like I said, not every strobe rocket is the same, but generally use the initial whistle propulsion at the beginning in order to make them fly. If I hadn't already said this, strobe fuel for rockets does 
does not have, or at least has very little, propulsive power in these rockets, and they nearly cannot be created without using whistle fuel or some high propulsive fuel of some kind. Whistle fuel is the most popular as it gives them an amazing sound when they are in the sky, and are pretty much some of the best rockets to listen to. As I've said before, there is no other rocket out there that impresses me more than a strobe rocket. So let's start to wrap things up here. You probably want one of these strobe rockets, and I wouldn't doubt it on behalf of any reason you clicked on the video. To put it nicely, you will have to make them, join a rocket club, or do a ton of research. They do require some intermediate knowledge, and I have never made them before, but I would love to if I had the supplies and expertise. As I've said again, they are not sold in displays, I have never seen them imported as 1.3G, and they are not manufactured for business. These rockets primarily come out of the art of pyrotechnics, and are created by dedicated hobbyists. If you yourself are interested in making these rockets, I highly suggest that you watch Woody's videos. The Powderman channel has been one that I've seen for a while now, and it's pretty interesting because he will show you how to make these rockets on camera, mention pretty much everything you need to know, except that you really should get a license to build them, and that you really shouldn't take a shot at this unless you really know what you're doing and you are passionate for it. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to check out my trip to Boom City at the Memorial Show where I actually saw these strobe rockets in person, and I will see you guys next time.